Hey guys, welcome to 3 Mississippi. I'm Mike and today I'm going to talk to you guys about one of the least expensive, what I call budget quality deer rifle and we're going to shoot some various ammo through it and see how it performs. Let's talk right now about the Mossberg Patriot in 6.5 Creedmoor. There is nothing fancy, nothing fancy about this stock, okay? Uh, this is a synthetic stock that gets the job done. It's got uh, a little bit of texture on the foregrip, got a little texture here around where the hand grip is, but again, nothing at all fancy about this stock. Mossberg Patriot caliber this particular one is in a 6.5 Creedmoor and uh, note the fluted barrel and uh, for those of y'all that might want to screw something on to the end of it make it shoot a little quieter yes it has a threaded barrel so that's a nice little feature so let's talk about the bolt uh, it feels pretty decent not not a lot of slop in there I mean there's some but I mean look there's nothing wrong with the bolt. The action feels good. Uh, I've got no complaints about it. Again, this is a budget rifle, guys. Uh, we're talking about, depending on where you are and what kind of sales, who's having. Uh, I paid like $425 for this rifle. So, uh, not including the optic. So, it really is a budget rifle. We got this two-stage trigger here. Uh, you're seeing that, you know, a lot of times in the Accu trigger, uh, a few people are doing it now. Uh, it's not a bad trigger. Um, I'm actually happy with the trigger, but it's not a Timney either, you know. Again, budget rifle. So, for my, uh, for my hunting rifle here, I mounted this Monstrum optic on it. This is probably not one that a lot of you guys are familiar with. Again, uh, it's a budget optic. I, I think I paid $300 or $350 for this. And uh, I do like a large diameter, uh, you know, forward lens to really bring in as much light as I can. A lot of times you're deer hunting at first light or at last light. Uh, this 56 millimeter forward optic really does bring in a lot of light without having to go to some kind of fancy night optic which is not in my budget it is a first focal plane if you're not familiar with first focal plane google it it's a it's a longer lesson than i'm really getting into today 1 8 moa adjustments on this optic and it does have an illuminated uh reticle option with a little battery a 320 something dollar optic on a 420 something dollar rifle and for me this is not a competition rifle. This is not a match rifle. Um, while we all might get into some friendly competition uh, with our buddies, this is a meat getter, right? This is what I kill deer with to put in the freezer. I've been hunting it with it now for, uh, this, this will be the third year using this rifle. I'm happy with it, but now I wanna put it through some tests that take me out of the equation, putting it on a lead sled, and really put some groups on paper show you guys at 100 yards what this rifle is capable of and then i'm going to use various ammunition i actually have seven different manufacturers and and makes of ammunition here uh, actually a couple winchester uh, a couple of federal one remington and a couple of hornadies uh, this precision hunter hornady is what i've been shooting through it and what i've been hunting with this is 50 bucks a box. Um, this stuff right here, this, this PowerPoint Winchester is probably 20 something a box at Walmart. Uh, so I'm really curious, how do these various ammos compare to each other and how does this rifle perform when put through this type of a test? I am gonna let the barrel cool uh, for, for you know several minutes, maybe eight, 10 minutes between each three shot group. Uh, I'm gonna run uh, just a, a patch through it with some rim oil and a dry patch after every three shot group try to get as close to uh, the same conditions as possible I'm like I said I'm gonna put it on the lead sled 
and try to remove myself, uh, uh, you know, as a average shooter from the equation and um, just really take my time. Oh yeah. And focus on those nice, steady trigger squeezes and try to just really test the rifle and not the shooter. So let's do it. 45 acres call it home in Mississippi where the good things grow. Well, we raise them right with love and care. Animals thriving, we're always there. From the pasture to the plate, you'll see. We're living off the land of three Mississippi. Who are we? We're three Mississippi. Sharing our lives, making history. On this little slice of heaven, you'll find the way we live, body, soul, and mind. The good, the bad, and the ugly, too. We're here to show you what we do. So come along, take a ride with me. And live the farm life at three Mississippi. Healthy living, but we're having fun. Always working till the day is done from raising. Okay, guys, the order that I'm gonna be testing these out in is the estimated order of the current cost of this ammo. I realize that you know in some places. Some ammo might be a little less expensive or more expensive, but as a general rule, I've pl placed these in the order of cost of ammo. And cost of ammo is not always a representation of quality, but it oftentimes, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, right? So like I said, this Precision Hunter Hornady, which is a 140, three grain is what I've been shooting through this rifle for the last couple of years and what I've killed every deer that I have shot with this rifle using. I have not even shot the match through it, which I believe is 140, it's 140 grain. The rest of these boxes of bullets right here are all things that are locally available right here at the Walmart in my town, okay? They do not carry Hornady, unfortunately. Uh, so I have to get these when I go to Tupelo, but everything else on this table I got from Walmart right here in my hometown of Mississippi and I would love nothing more than for a $27 box of bullets to perform MOA at 100 yards. That is That's better than necessary for deer hunting. Okay uh, Sub MOA is gonna be a challenge with a budget rifle like this. I, I don't even know if it's going to happen. We're about to find out. Even these Remingtons here, you know, you start getting in the 30 something dollar range. These uh, federal gold medals right here, I want to say I paid $46. So they're starting to get into Hornady territory as far as the price goes. Uh, these federals were on the cheaper side. Again, you know, I really do want to know do i have to be shooting the most expensive ammo that i that i can find probably not the most expensive i can find but do i have to be shooting hornady 50 dollars a box ammo through this rifle to get the results that i want or will this rifle perform with 125 grain winchester well it's a big difference let's get this started okay guys here we go the first one it's going to be your inexpensive at Walmart Winchester PowerPoint. I would really, really, really like for this ammunition to perform. You can see, you know, it's a, it's a copper jacketed, got some exposed lead uh, at the very point there. I wouldn't say that there's anything overly precision about that projectile, but let's see how she does. All right. Boy, I wish I could hold the rifle that steady when I'm hunting. Boy, it's locked in. All right, here we go. First shot of the day.
Well, I can tell you, that was about three inches high. Let's see what the next one does. Tell you right now, I'm not liking it. You guys want to see it or we want to go to the next one? Let's go look at it. Now, I really do not feel like I had a flyer there. I felt like my trigger pull was good. I feel like everything, everything really felt the same. So yeah, I don't know. I've never put this rifle to a test. Maybe I've killed some deer by luck. Let's shoot some more ammo and see what happens. We're uh, sticking with Winchester here. This is gonna be your Deer Season XP. This is actually the lightest bullet on the table. This is a 125 grain bullet. And that's what she looks like right there. Let's see if she performs Better, worse, or the same than that last Winchester. All right, let's swab that barrel. Give it a minute to cool down. We're gonna move on to the Federal. This one is called the Federal Power Shock. We're moving up to a heavier bullet now. This is 140 grain, and unlike the styrofoam bullet casings that Winchester loves so much, Federal has put these in a little plastic deal that it looks like you could actually thread it through a belt uh, if you wanted to do that interesting concept may have added a couple of dollars in my opinion or a couple of cents anyway uh, to the packaging i don't know how necessary that was let's take a look at this they're calling this a jacketed soft point all right uh don't know how well you can see that let's see how they perform in a mossberg budget deer rifle with a budget scope and an average shooter. Okay. I don't normally shoot in a lead sled. I'm trying to get my get myself situated here. All right, let's clean this rifle. Let's shoot this Remington ammo. Rifle's cooling down a little bit. We are going to run down range here and take a look at those last couple of groups, because I'm curious. All right, there was your Winchester deer season. Boom, boom, boom. And there was your Federal Power Shock. That's a little bit tighter. That, that's a little over an inch, so that's probably still not MOA, but it's getting awful close. Remington Core Locked, they're calling it. Uh, plastic packaging, similar to the uh, concept to the, to the Winchester that was using styrofoam. I'll tell you right now, so far, these are the ugliest bullets. Without question, the ugliest bullets. Let me show you guys what I mean here. Take a look at that bullet. Note the 
discoloration on the brass here looks like possibly from heat um, a lot of uh, something going on on the copper there and even even imperfections in the casing itself a little bit right up here like I don't know if you guys can see that right there can't really tell anyway whatever I don't know how important that is but just an observation uh, that's a it's a mid price bullet I want to say this was in the the 30 something dollar range if it shoots good it doesn't really have to be pretty right let's find out Uh, look at that. We got us a misfeed right there. That's interesting. Wonder if that had anything to do with what I was seeing. Well, fed fine that time. Tell you what, after seeing how those look and having that one misfeed, I'm dying to know what that group looks like. Let's go check it out. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, that's a three inch group right there. So, bummer. Not what I was looking for. Moving on. All right, guys, we are back to Federal now. This is their higher end ammo, at least that's sold here locally. Uh, they're calling it the Federal Premium Gold Metal. Uh, this is gonna be called an open tip match. And it is a 130 grain. And I want you to look at that tip if you can. I don't know if you can see, but show sure enough, that thing is open. So that's interesting. Got a little bit lighter here on this. This is gonna be 130 grain. And uh, of what's left to shoot, this is the lightest one. So let's load three of them up here. It's a pretty bullet. I don't know why that matters. I guess it don't. We're not going to go look at that one yet. We're going to clean this barrel and we're going to move on to Hornady Precision Hunter and Hornady Match. Okay guys, Hornady Precision Hunter comes in a plastic case and this is actually the ammo. I don't know if you how well you can see that. This is actually the ammo that I've been hunting with for the last few years with this rifle. Killed several deer with it, so. I did miss one last, last year, but I discovered that uh, my scope had come loose on the mount. So I killed the last deer that I killed last season with my daughter's rifle, until I had a chance to get out and reset this one up. So anyway, not that you guys needed to know that story. Let's throw three down there with the Hornady Precision Hunter. All right, those felt good. We're gonna swab this barrel and move on to the Hornady match, which I have not even ever shot through. Several of these, actually, of these ammo sitting on the table, I have never shot through this rifle. And then we'll take a look at the final findings. Last one. This is gonna be your Hornady 
match. And this is a 140 grain, as opposed to 143 that was in the Precision Hunter. Uh, very similar looking bullet though. Got that bright red tip. This is that one target down at the bottom. There we go. I couldn't find it for a second, but I found it. Let's do this. Okay, time for the moment of truth, guys. Well, here we are at the moment of truth. And before I measure these guys, let me just tell you a couple of things. First, I am not a competition shooter. So this is a test that I highly recommend that you run on your rifle with the ammo that's available to you. Every rifle is going to shoot slightly differently with different ammo and you need to just not trust me or anybody else on the internet you need to run this test yourself like i said i am an average shooter i'm a hunter now that being said i once upon a time was a competition shooter way back in the early 90s i think it was 93 or 94. 94. i don't even remember i'm telling my age now though uh i shot the all navy in Damneck, virginia i was shooting 600 yards open sights with an M1 Grand. So once upon a time, I was a shooter. I don't shoot enough. I'm a hunter, but I know enough about it to feel relatively confident that what I've just showed you is mostly a representation of the rifle and the ammo. Now, I didn't marry the rifle exactly the same way every time. On I don't normally shoot from a lead sled. Um, I changed up the way I was holding it a few times trying to trying to make it feel better. I did not remove myself 100% from the equation. I know that, but every trigger pull felt right. And I feel like what we have here is probably a pretty good representation of what this rifle can do and how different ammo affects what this rifle can do. So let's measure these and see what we got. Winchester PowerPoint, two inches, I'm gonna say 650 thousandths. Winchester deer season, two inches, well, I'll tell you what, two inches, 900 thousandths. Federal Power Shock, one inch, 300 thousandths. Remington, their core lock, that's gonna be two inches, 780 thousandths. Federal Premium, that was their gold medal. That's gonna be two inches and 50 thousandths. Precision Hunter, oh, come on. Come on, be the one, be the one, be the one. Oh, not MOA, 110 thousandths. One inch, 1.11. Ah, okay. And then our match Hornady. That's gonna be two inches and 270 thousandths, 2.27. Well, this is pretty interesting, guys. Of all the ammo that I ran through this rig right here, which is a very basic rig. Again, this is a Mossberg Patriot, um, probably one of the lowest budget entry-level deer rifles 
with a monstrum scope on it in the $220 range. Of all the ammo that I ran through it for today's test, the Precision Hunter by Hornady happens to be the one that performed the best. And I say happens to be because Hornady Precision Hunter is the only ammo I've been running through this for the last two and a half years. I, I, I don't know why I started shooting this ammo. Somebody highly recommended it. I shot it. I liked the group. I stuck with it. It has taken me two and a half years to decide to run all this ammo through it. I was really hoping that something in the $30 a box range was gonna perform well. I'll tell you this, uh, this Federal Power Shock, this one right here, the gold medal, it actually did really well. Um, and I would be absolutely happy with that. The Precision Hunter shot a slightly tighter group and the bottom line is they're the same price. So, uh, I, you know, I wish something in the $30 range had performed better. They simply didn't with this rifle. Guys, I made a huge mistake. It was a big enough mistake. I noticed when I was watching this back that it requires an edit. When I was showing you the top right target that had the 1.3 inch group, I correctly said that it was the Federal Power Shock. But I then followed up and said that it was the Federal Gold Medal Premium, which was the same price as the Precision Hunter. That is not the case. I got twisted up in my mind, it happens. Guys, the 1.3 inch group was in fact the Federal Power Shock, which happens to be a $30 box of bullets sold locally at my Walmart. So this is potentially a huge game changer for me. There you have it. I've corrected my mistake. Like I said, don't just run out and buy the Precision Hunter uh, for your, you know, Remington 700 270, because it's probably going to perform differently then it's performing in my Mossberg Patriot 6.5 Creedmoor. I think that this t doing this test does a couple of things. It gives you an excuse to go shoot. That's a good thing. You, you know, you tell your wife, baby, I have to do this or I might miss a deer or worse yet, injure one and, you know, have to chase it down and call the dogs and whatnot. The, the second thing it does is it gives you a little stockpile of ammo, right? Because I now have a bunch of boxes of ammo that I wouldn't have normally bought and every one of these every single one of these groups if i needed to go get food i could do it with this um, you know this right here shot a little low and i would need to move that group up you know if i was shooting for the heart that would have been bad but but you know most of these you know a, a three you know a three moa or a 2.9 moa is definitely not ideal Winchester deer season here, uh, but the reality is 100% yes, I could kill a deer with that every time. That That's reality. I was hoping, I was really hoping that something that I shot today was going to give me a, you know, a, a, a one MOA group in a super budget deer rifle, but 1.11 was the closest I got. And that was a precision hunter so but hey it was a lot of fun i think i'm gonna do this with frankie's rifle very soon uh she you know her rifle is a little bit higher end than mine uh, i'm not sure how that happened i think i need to evaluate my life choices but the reality is this was a fun fun little test uh i'm glad i i, I took the time to to film it uh so that i could share this info with you guys and hmm yeah Get out there, get some ammo, run it through your rifle, test it out, you know, put it on a sled, try to remove yourself from the equation and really learn what performs best in your rifle. And don't discount budget rifles. I mean, that right there all day long is more than acceptable. Don't forget to like the video guys, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications. Love you guys. Stay blessed and safety's off. Actually, it is. That's better. There we go.